This is the story of a beekeeper, trading the old for the new. In one man's quest to feed the children who go hungry in the countryside. A man relentless against the African heat. There are 22,000 beekeepers in Rwanda. Most do it the old way. But if the hives don't produce, the starving beekeeper will take too much and the bees will die. Both hives make sweet tasting honey, but the modern hive does it better. It's a matter of education and the work of one man who is teaching farmers to make money from their honey. Professional beekeeper Stanley Gabala is a Polish man living in Africa for nearly seven years. He invited the ADP team to show them his work in a rural village in Rwanda. To get to his beehives, they took a minibus from the capital city of Kigali, over rolling hills and past miles of soy, corn, and tea plantations. Down a dusty red clay road, Stani led them to his beehives to teach them how bees make honey. From the tradition beehive, we can uh, take only five, six kilo for one year. But uh, from the modern beehive, we can take Mm, even 50. Each Saturday, Stani gathers men from the rural village and teaches them beekeeping. The lesson today is about relocating hives from the traditional one to the modern. Also Rwanda, it's 90, even 90 percent of the population. They use, usually use uh, old technology, like two, 200 years ago, uh, so they can't take a crop uh, properly. Trained professionally in beekeeping and agriculture, Stani introduced the modern homestead by building a demonstration farm. So I decided to use my experience and my knowledge to help them how to use natural source of their homeland, like climate, like souls. It's only knowledge who will give them the possibility for developing their life. Then he published books on agriculture, on everything from constructing a barn to baking bread. If we give the people the knowledge, we give the people the bread. He will have the bread, the meal, they will can't think about war. One of the kind of solution to, uh, to stop the, the, the conflict. Mm -hmm. In Central Africa, food is processed in the home. Cows are penned for lack of land, and each year the farms get smaller when parents divide their land among their children. It costs about $500 uh, for one year to training one beekeeper. I'd like to make some technical school, uh, vocation training school for the beekeepers. This course will give us a new instructor, the people who will make training for another people. Once a bee stings, it releases a chemical that attracts other bees to come and sting. For that reason, you must run. <laughs> <laughs> Stani has been stung many times, but he has yet to run away. For this reason, he's a hero to the local people. They come from miles away to welcome him to their village. He gives the children candy. For their parents, he provides their only meal of the day. They'll eat bread just once a week. Honey gives us food and money. It's a medicine, too. 
We are very happy Stan is with us. If I see the children, uh, they can eat something more than before, I'm very happy. For his knowledge and perseverance, he's won the confidence of the local villagers. To them, he's a hero. No, I can't leave Rwanda because I decide to finish this project, but project education, we never will finish. If you help me, I'll be very pleased to you, for everybody. And thank you very much.